Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's Al Pac King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I know, I know, I know I'm giving you this juicy info, but let's talk about animations, collisions, bump animations, simple physics. You know, I, I'm not too big on this subject just because of the simple fact that I can't believe anything until I get my hands on those sticks. But what I will say is. NBA 2K games have always been packed in ridiculous amount of animations, but shots tend to play out the same regardless of contact. Thanks to the new dynamic shot generator, yeah, there's something brand new that they brought out this year. It says that the game now uses a physics system to take an account for momentum, the degree of contact, player size, and strength ratings. Y'all know we never raise our strength ratings for my player move, but what this would do is it would determine if a player knifes through a defender just like you know D Wade when he's dribbling against somebody's body and he goes straight through him if a player is stopped at the point of contact like how we get the bump animations this year and we back up and we be like damn like boy just took my head off and or the person gets the shot off but stumbles and falls to the floor simple as you take a jump shot you fall on your back your legs go up in the air like Shaq but you get up and shake it off that's basically what they're saying this year. It says that Visual Concepts hopes that this will make contact more realistic and keeps the outcomes from looking like canned animations. Such as if we go for a layup, we get it blocked, but they call it as a turnover and the play goes on. But we spazzing in the background while somebody out on the break. Now, it says that the physics system introduced by the dynamic shot generator also affects rebounding, blocking collisions, and charging. That means that when you go up for a rebound and you box the person out and you jump for the ball, what will happen to that player that's allegedly supposed to be boxed out or even to you if a player comes jumping over your back looking for a putback dunk? I pray to goodness that they do not have these crazy wild putback dunks in this game where a person could just jump from the three point line and just put it back in. I'm, I'm praying for that. Also, blocking collisions such as when you're going for a Euro step. You get your head took off. They call it as a block, as a turnover, no matter what. Would there be more fouls? Would there be more movements towards where if you do a Euro step and you're going up with your right hand and that person bumps you from the right, can you switch over to the left without going all the way under the rim? Can you be as creative to go up and under the contact after a Euro step, such as one, two, up, and do a Tony Parker during the animation while getting that contact and going to the line. That's what I want to know is going to be in the game. So when I get the 2K13 team up, I promise you, I'm going to be looking for all these different moves, trying to get right, trying to get everything situated for these info videos. And I'm probably going to put it in one nice little live stream and just talk about it. Now, the next thing is charging. They say if you're you know, a good enough defender and the physics is right, if you beat a player to the spot because of the new foot planting, you're able to get charges, you know, like bad EA defensive people like that. So what I'm saying is if a person is taking a charge, will there be that glitch when a person can follow your lead and you bulldoze him over, will that still be a charge or will they call it a blocking foul because he's trying to stop your momentum? That's real basketball. But this is IKC signing out. If you want more news about NBA 2K13, you know where to hit me up. Follow me on Twitter, y'all. All right. Peace.